In today's LEGO City update, we're going to be doing a bit of a general tidy up just to get some odd jobs done that I need to do. And one of them is, well, the harbour area, when I broke something, is a little bit messy. I need to finish off making some more containers, finish off those tiles there. This little building that I was working on, need to do that. And then something else was when I was shuffling some things around, I accidentally knocked off the fire station and it's now fell down this hole. Luckily, it's not too broken, but... I need to get that out, fix that and pop it back in place and then might take care of some other bits as well. I might do some more work for the boardwalk area, might even place a couple of buildings just to get an idea of things. So it's a bit of a, a random one, but like a, a fun one. Who knows what's going to happen? So to rescue the fire station, I need to move my backlog of sets out the way to get to it because it's behind at the back there. And I, well, I'm working through it. You know, sometimes new sets take priority to get those reviews out, but there's some sets in here that obviously I want to build. That's why I bought them. And I think next one I might build soon is this Lego City tuning garage set. That might be pretty cool to add to the city. So I could do that one soon. Okay, so I moved all my sets out of the way and let's assess the damage. Oh, well, it's not too bad. It's mostly intact. I should be able to put that together pretty easily, I think. Uh, yeah, it, it broke into like three parts. Okay, that's salvageable. What about the mills plate? Um, oh. Well, I didn't have the plates on it anyway, but only a couple of bricks fell off, so that's kind of to be expected, but that's fine. I can fix this. Now I just have to remember how this thing goes together. I was missing one piece, one of these slopes, probably still down that hole on the floor somewhere, but I just grabbed another one from my part inventory instead of moving everything else again. I'll get it one day, probably when I have to, I don't know, move things again. So, yep, yeah, this is all going back together pretty easily, I think. There we go, it's all back together just how it should be, and I really do need to start gathering the parts to finish my custom expansion for this set, where I'm going to build the whole back half and the extra side bit as well. It's going to involve a lot of parts, might be a bit expensive, but yeah, I do need to get around to that at some point soon. The fire station is back where it belongs, so now I can focus on my next task, which will be tidying up the harbour, so let's get on that. I put the new tiles down so now I can stack up the containers. They're all stacked back up and I can finish off making a couple more. That's looking a little bit tidier. Next up it's this little building that I was working on. It's supposed to be, well, like a little site office for the construction crew, but I guess it could also work in the harbour as well. So as you can see I started it but I had to order a few more pieces and they've all arrived. So it's kind of like a converted shipping container, that's the look I was going for. There we go, all complete. Yeah, it looks a little basic, but it, it gets the design across that I was going for. So there we go. These guys have a little site office to keep them, you know, where the manager can sit all day while the workers do the hard work. Now I need to turn my attention to my Mills Roads because there's a couple of things I need to do. Some suggestions that some of you mentioned in the comments. For example, these lines here shouldn't be there. It should just be plain dark grey. So I need to swap out all those on a few of my crossings. And then I mentioned a little while ago about expanding the kind of actual crossing itself where instead of having a dark grey tile here swapping it out just so the crossing kind of extends further and doesn't look like it just ends well or just starts like halfway through the road or whatever so I'm going to swap that out and I was debating whether to use white or light grey tiles because the print should be white but it's more of a off-white in between white and grey and I've decided to go for light grey and that way it's kind of similar to my sidewalk pattern as well so I'll swap those out for all the crossings and then after that, I need to update this mills plate. It was the very first one I did. As you can see, the tile pattern for the sidewalk is different. There are no studs on it and it just doesn't match the rest of them. So I need to update that as well. And once I've done that, there's a few empty gaps where I just ran out of parts in the past. So I have the parts now. I can fill those in. So I was putting a few more of these down, which kind of hold in the street lights. And I thought, well, I might as well just add the street lights. So I'm just going around putting those in. I didn't think I was going to add them until like later on once the city's nearly done, but they don't really get in the way and it just adds some more progress to it. So I'm digging through my little box of city extras, getting some street signs and other little things that I can add around the town. And I have a lot of street lights. I think I've got even more somewhere else, but I've kind of maxed out all the places I want them according to my meals plate guide. But you know, things can change in the future. And for now, I did just use the standard design from the Lego road plate pack. It's just because it's quicker and easier that way, but I think I probably will customise in the future. I just feel it's too many colours going on with the light grey, the dark grey, the black, you know. I just like it to look a bit more clean. I don't mind having the solar panel on top. That's like a nice modern feature. 
but I think I'd probably end up just going for kind of an all light -like grey look maybe, just so it looks a bit more cleaner and consistent, but I'll worry about that in the future. Next up, let's add some traffic lights and post boxes, which Jake designed for me, they're pretty cool. Some bins, so people got places, but they're rubbish, and maybe a couple of speed signs as well. I've decided not to use the speed limit signs, because I just feel like, well, 50 is way too fast for this kind of built up area anyway, and I don't want to clutter up too many signs, for example, even the ones with the crosswalk logo, I've only used two, one at this end and then one down the other end. And then for the traffic lights, I'm just not sure what's the best place to do it again, because there are multiple crossings and things like, yeah, there probably should be multiple sets of traffic lights, but I don't want to overcrowd it with too many. So I'm going to leave it for now and come back and have a little think on how I'm going to use those. Now to finally update this mills plate so it's the same as my other standard ones with the different jumpers and drains and places for street lamps and things and even just looking at it it's so different i used like all sorts of random parts and things this was the first one i made i think i made this back in 2022 and then this new one here it looks so clean and consistent with the same colors and everything so i'm not going to swap it all out i'm just going to change up the tiles on the top Apart from the gaps I've left for the street lights to go in, I'm out of modified tiles again! I thought I had enough. Ugh, I really don't want to place another order, so I'm going to see if I can steal some from somewhere else and replace it with a few tiles or something, I don't know, but... Damn, that was so close! Okay, phew. I managed to fill them in, swapping out a few other ones from somewhere else, that's fine. <laughs> yep, that looks much better. Now I'm going to extract my crossings and update the tiles that I need to. I've swapped out the lines for the plain dark grey here and I agree that does look much better. I'm just not sure because I've, now I put the 1 by 4 light grey there and I was like, well, okay, there is clearly a colour difference and then the spacing between that still isn't like, it's not equal because there it's much closer and there it's much further away. If anything, it needs to be kind of like halfway like something something like that would be perfect but as you can see that just isn't going to be possible Ugh. so now i put the crossroad back and i'm just not convinced on the light bluish gray tiles to extend the crosswalk now i don't know white doesn't work i tried that just if only the print was a proper ah i mean it's not even just the print like i said it's the spacing of the line that i just can't get right using this current method so for now, I think I might just leave it how I had it before, even though the crosswalk is kind of quite far away from the pavement there. Mm, it might just have to do. Well, we've made some good progress today in the Lego City. Sure, it wasn't anything major, but it's the little things, you know, they all add up and it all comes together nicely in the end. And just adding these extra street details has kind of really made a big difference, I think. It really kind of brings more to life. So I'm excited. I can't wait to work on it more. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for the city, tell me in the comments below. Consider becoming a channel member to support the channel. And I'll see you next time for another LEGO City update. Bye for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel or on one of my other channels as well. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends.